so good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and today is Easter Monday in the afternoon of course and I'm back on the same permission I was last time last time I finished this bottom part right there and today I'm going to carry on moving along towards dining and we'll see last time we got a few musket balls and coins and hopefully we have the same again today just trying to look where <laughs> the paper is I had last time with me and hmm don't know where that went should be in the car normally but looks like it's gone somewhere never mind <clears throat> don't know where it went but doesn't matter does it so I hope you all had a great Easter so far and hmm, no clue so hopefully like I said hopefully you all had a great Easter and if you went out detecting yesterday or today I hope you had good luck so far and so let's go see you on the first find <laughs> so and the first find today is like a 32 39 43 so most of the times that is uh, aluminum foil but we will see what it is today I don't think it's very deep, but we will see. Yesterday we had hail, so that wasn't too nice, but there you go. And like I said, aluminum, aluminum foil, aluminium or aluminum, depending what country you come from. Okay, so hopefully it'll get better than this. <laughs> Off to the next. The second find, and I've walked nearly all the way down to the end, the first line. It's actually an iron disc instead of an iron ring. So, always something new, and today is beautiful. We have uh, about 10 degrees Celsius this afternoon, so very nice. Spring is coming, yippee! And just beautiful today. Okay, let's carry on. And the first musket ball that hit something. So let's see how many we find today, if we find any more of course. <laughs> okay, off to the next. So I'm not quite sure what this is. Came in as a 69 roughly, so a little bit of copper alloy most likely, and it's a little bit green too. It's not a nail, that's for sure, because it has like a uh, ornament here and there, and nice and round. Hmm, no clue. Not sure what it is, but I'll keep it just in case. After the next. And a nice complete this time, <laughs> uh, 18th century, so about 1780s going into the early 1800 horseshoe. So this could actually be French, but not quite sure, obviously. A lot of uh, in Europe, they were nearly all the same. There wasn't a big difference in Europe. So it could be Austrian, Bavarian, but it goes towards the Definitely the Napoleonic times. Good, off to next. And a bullet. Okay, off to the next.
And the next musket ball. Very nice. You can see it, but I can. And there's the next coin. <laughs> or the first coin of today, and it's a two fennec piece this time. And Bundesrepublik Germany. So it's modern, it's a 1951. Cool, in 1951, two Phoenix from the Bundesrepublik Germany, from the Federal Republic of Germany. Nowadays we have the Euro. <laughs> okay, after the next. And now I've cleaned it a little, it's actually a 1950. So that's the first year they made the two Phoenix pieces. After the next. Oh, I do have my first big iron ring. So now I can put that into my car. Thank God, put it right there <laughs> at the top. Okay, after the next. Next musket ball. So I'm very, quite surprised. I mean, I was expecting musket balls. That's not the thing I'm surprised at. But I'm not finding hardly any buttons. Normally on a permission like this, I always find some kind of uh, buttons, you know, the, the shield buttons and stuff like that. Or, I mean, if the French were here, obviously uniform buttons. But so far, I've only found one silver gilded one, if you remember. You know, and that's not a lot, is it? And I've done now quite a amount of ground about 4,000 square meters, I would say, or 3,000 square meters, three and a half to 4,000 square meters, and only one button. Hmm. But it doesn't matter. We're still finding history, so that's good. So there's always a chance to find more. <laughs> okay, let's carry on. The next musket ball. <laughs> okay, after the next. The next musket ball and actually just rolled out. You can see the imprint right there still. <laughs> Literally just rolled out. I don't think this one has actually been fired, just lost. Okay, after the next. The next coin or button. It's a coin. I thought it would be with that patina. Uh, it's a one fennec imperial. I can tell that already. And that's a 19 or it's falling apart, so 1911. Okay, at the back, it'll have the ego again. Oh, there we go for Imperial. Germany. Okay, after the next. The next musket ball. Yeah. Well, at least I got my iron ring today also, including a little bit of chain still on it. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not going to throw it away. Okay, after the next. I don't know if you can see in the background <coughs> the grey geese coming in. Where are you? Lovely. You guessed it, the next musket ball. <laughs> Crikey. Today's just musket balls nearly. Yeah, so normally I enjoy musket balls. But it would be nice to find something else today, apart from musket balls and two coins, you know. Okay, off to the next. And the baby Oxy. <laughs> Very small. <laughs> More like a calf than an ox. But, never mind, off to the next. This time a flattened musket ball. <sighs> so, not sure how much more I'll find, but I'm just walking down here. 
and then up again and that'll do for today <sighs> plenty of lead tell you that <laughs> oh well we'll see maybe there's some more if not we'll see you at the roundup it'll be a short one anyway <laughs> and the next it's all swampy in there I don't know if you can see the water. <laughs> like I said, we did have to say some rain and hail. Uh, nearly at the top. Oh, so, that's it for today. And I tell you something, if there's a God, he certainly has a sense of humor. We have Easter, and he sent me loads of little Easter eggs, didn't he? That's why I was finding only stuff. He was kidding with me, <laughs> but nice little kids, uh, nice little jokes. <clears throat> so, nice uh, hoof, uh, horseshoe, hoof, I don't know what I was going to say, but horseshoe, uh, around uh, 1750s, going up into the 1800s, somewhere around then, plus minus a uh, couple of years, a few years. Nice little ox shoe, very small, normally they're much bigger. Lots of iron rings and other iron parts, a little bit of modern trash and today nine musket balls, two coins, an ornamented piece, I'm not quite sure, and a bullet. So I've been digging now two hours and 50 minutes, that's uh, about 170 minutes um, of detecting time. So that gives me a lead, a musket ball about every uh, 20 minutes <laughs> so that's not bad some people really would love that plus and the other fine fine so pretty busy digging I suppose and how long did we walk today so let's take a look how that looks like and looks pretty good that's 1.3 k's yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Ah, there you go. So 1.3 kilometers, and you can see really where we're up and down, up and down, and coming towards the car again. So nice. And that was it. So until the next time. Hopefully the sun didn't blind you too much just now. <laughs> I hope you all had a great Easter. And God willing, maybe tomorrow I have time again to go to the But until then, you take good care and as always, keep smiling. Bye-bye.